He has pressure. And fights his way out to the 27-yard line. He scrambles for four, and his second down is six. Trey Bauer with the tackle, and the clock continues to move. Charlie, Penn State has played the Heisman Trophy winner three of the last five years and beaten him all three times. So Testaverde, not by himself and not doing so well on New Year's Day, or January 2nd this year against Penn State. It is second and six. Intercepted by Trey Bauer. In and out of his arm. Two thirty-one left. Charlie, as good as Testaverde is, and as many of awards as he has won, his confidence now is a little bit shaken. He sees linebackers coming when he doesn't see them. He could come from nowhere. They're almost picking off his passes. He is the man that has to bring him down to win the national championship, and their leader is shaken. Third down and six, three wide receivers, two and a half minutes to go, trailing by four. Has time, and he goes deep to Bratton. Does he get it? No. He throws it inside, and he had to come back for it. Marcus Henderson had the coverage. Do you take a big gamble now with 2.24 left? I don't think so. Miami has two timeouts left. Their defense has been playing fairly well. I think you kick it away and try to come back and give it to Vinny Testaverde with a little time left. He's got the arm that can get you a touchdown and a national championship in one series. If they're they're going to go with it, though. If you go for it here, Charlie, the whole game is on the line right here. If you one miss plus. it, it's over. Here it is for the title. Nine seconds on the 25-second clock. It's there, first down to Brian Blades. Blades down the sideline, all the way to the Penn State 41-yard line. 32 yards, it was fourth and six. Marcus Henderson finally got him. Prior to that play in the second half, Testaverde only 7 of 18, 57 yards, three touchdowns, but there he is, just one throw away. Hey, and it tells you something about the Heisman Trophy winner. He wasn't ready to give it up yet. Yeah, they went for it and fourth down, and look at Blades dancing down the sideline, finally pushed out. A big play by both Blades and Testaverde. Marseille passes there, and it is Blades again. Duffy Cobbs makes the tackle. Clock moves. There's not a two-minute warning in college ball. It'll just keep on moving. 35-yard line. Second down. Second and three. As time he throws, it is there this time. Brent Perryman. Close to the 25-yard line. That will stop the clock. Eddie Johnson making the stop for the Nittany Lions. They stop the clock for the first down. And the clock will start when the ball is ready for play. It's at the 26. Miami still with two timeouts. Penn State with one. Over the middle. Irvin slips and goes down at the 22. Has four. Second down and six. The three times in a row, Testaverde went to that quick out to the outside. Penn State seemed content to give it up. They've been doing it all night. Why change now? That time, he goes to Michael Irvin, the playmaker. He's the one you want to go to when it's in the clutch. Testaverde. Irvin at the 10. A gain of 12. Not taking the timeout. That's for the first down. The clock being stopped in college ball. It shouldn't end any other way, Charlie. That's the Top way it's offensive to be. team gets a good defensive team playing for the national championship in the last minute of the season. And the man voted the best player in the country is the one directing him down. You know, let's talk about Vinny Testaverde. Down here, fourth and six, <laughs> not completing a lot of passes. He's got the guts to stand up and get the first down and lead him down the field. Tells you a lot about that young man. It came down to one play, and he did it. At the 27-yard line, Shane Conlon, the injured player. Fourth down and six back at the 27-yard line. 
and Testaverde did it. Well, he, and he is at five consecutive completions. Well, he has, and as Jimmy pointed out, he's throwing to the outside, Charlie, on the corners, who are playing one-on-one -on, -one on the wide receivers. When he's gotten in trouble, he's thrown the ball to the middle of the field, and linebackers that he did not see have picked the ball off. Great strategy on the part of Penn State to hide Conlon inside, do some different things with their linebackers, but the weakness of that defense, Testaverde has found, is on the outside throwing those quick outs. Don't forget Brian Blades. He caught that pass on fourth and six. It takes two to make the first down. And a big play. Mr. Verde throws. It is complete at the five-yard line to Michael Irvin. Henderson wrestles him down at the five. It'll be second down goal to go. The score, 14 to 10. Forget about the field goal. The margin is four. By the way, Brian Blades, five reception, 81 yards. And the key reception of the ball game back at fourth and six. Here's Testaverde. Looks right, and he is brought down. Tim Johnson got it. Four sacks for Penn State. And Miami takes the timeout. They have one left. Testaverde wanted to go to the right to that quick out one more time, but the defensive back has the end of the end zone to help him out there. Testaverde could not throw the football, and it's Tim Johnson, number 55, with the sack. Quick timeout on the part of Testaverde. Heads up play with just 25 seconds left. Timeouts remaining, and the time remaining in the battle for the national championship. Bratton scored first for Miami from a yard out. Schaefer then scored from a yard out. Caffey a 74-yard drive for Penn State. Mark Seelig with a 38-yard field goal. Then Dozier from six yards out. And that followed the Conlon interception that set up that touchdown. And by the way, Bill Hawkins' interception set up the Miami drive. So it is 14 to 10. And the countdown continues. Conlon stays in. 13-yard line. Third down and goal. Incomplete. Incomplete. Fourth down. National Championship. There is a flag down at the 11 yard line. There are nine seconds remaining. Penn State takes the ball back to the five on a personal foul. Spinning the distance to the goal line.
Knights official. The Penn State Nittany Lions are the national champions. John Schaefer's record as a starting quarterback since the seventh grade is now 66 and one. And Joe Paterno has won his 199th game. You could talk about numbers for the next week, but there's only one to count, and that's number one. It's an incredible football game by both teams, though. Uh, storybook season for the University of Miami coming in at 11-0, registering the first undefeated season, the regular year on the part of the University of Miami. And now Penn State will undoubtedly be crowned the national champion. Offensive guard for Penn State, Dan Moore.